Beautiful location, very quiet, very peaceful and it's unspoiled. It's a very popular location for windsurfers, kayakers, it's a very safe beach for swimmers and uh, with mangroves uh, it's going to ruin the amenity. The main attraction for me to come to Jam Jarrett, I looked for three years for a, an idyllic location to have a holiday home and eventually retire and I found it here at Jam Jarrett and what I love about it is that it remains the same and I don't want it to change. Uh, the beach, as you see behind me, looks absolutely fantastic. If you put mangroves there, we'd have no beach. It would just, no one would go down there because the kids would be bitten, they'd be coming home. We'd have to be first aid with bites and everything, which we know will happen, will happen. From now on, every photo that we look at in years to come, we're gonna have these things in our photos, which is a bit of a shame. So I guess we get snap happy now before they even go in just take the best sun she can get without those sandbags going in because that's what we're going to be looking at. And there is simply no scientific evidence to back up the claim that mangroves and sausages are going to fix the erosion problem here. I don't particularly like the idea of the breakwater. I don't think it's a necessary measure. I think it's an extreme measure. There are other ways to deal with coastal erosion and I think uh, the, the rock wall is a great idea, something that can go along the coastline rather than be intrusive on the view that we, we love here. I'm opposed to the breakwater idea. I, I think it's an eyesore, it's going to ruin the pristine view that we have here. Um, it's an extreme measure for coastal erosion, they could tackle it um, on the foreshore rather than try and tackle it out off the beach. It's not necessarily going to fix the, the problem that's been identified. So we're very concerned that they're going to be spending a lot of money on something that actually might not work at all and we're going to be stuck with what's left. I think the breakwater might be a good thing. We, uh, we really haven't, um, we really don't know at this stage. I think there's other more urgent things, maybe fixing the drainage from the top of the cliffs, which um, probably would stop a lot more erosion than the, the uh, breakwater is going to do. I think erosion is a very uh, significant problem and uh, it may not be so bad now but I, I think in 20 years time it'll be significant and I, I think we should start doing something towards it. I don't think the breakwaters are going to do a great deal. I think it, uh, we need other avenues to stop that, to stop the problems with the, the cliffs blowing, uh, washing away. Well, I'm not a big fan of the mangrove and for something that grows very slowly, I can't see it doing any good at all. The deterioration of the foreshore is still going to happen because the mangroves are um, just a very slow growing plant. We've got a beautiful beach here um, and we don't want it ruined by mangroves. Mangroves, I don't think that's necessary in the area. If they build the breakwater to build up the sand, um, planting mangroves behind it, the sand builds up and kills the mangroves. It's, it's a waste of time, it's a waste of money. I've been to different areas where the mangroves are and they just, pardon the expression, they're a disgusting plant, um, not good on the eye and no, they bring in the mosquitoes, they bring in the midges and the kids go out there to swim while well, we don't want a forest of mangroves in this area because there goes our beach. I'm not 100% convinced that mangroves would be here in a, um, if the uh, area was left as a, in a natural environment. So I think they're introducing mangroves to an area, uh, area where they don't belong. I think the mangroves will ruin the beach. I don't like the idea of my children playing around in the, in the muddy mangrove area when we've got beautiful sand that they can play on. I think it's worth a try in a sense, but it doesn't look the best when you want to look out there and look amongst the water. I really don't want the mangroves. I don't want it to end up in a place like Pioneer Bay or Grantville. They're not nice to look at. Um, it appears though they bring a lot of mosquitoes. There is a big difference mosquitoes from one place to another. But if it's a wall of mangroves, then it's definitely not a good thing. One or two here and there probably wouldn't bother me at all. Absolutely not for a whole forest of uh, of mangroves. We certainly don't want it to turn into, uh, turn into a swamp. We want to get sand here. We love our beaches. 
So, and that's, uh, that's what we enjoy about it, especially come summer. It's a beautiful place to be. If they won't let them plant them down at the caravan park, why, why should we have them here? I don't want any mangroves down here at all. There has been a chronic lack of consultation with the community. The people who live here have had absolutely none. I'm not talking about a little bit, I'm talking about none. They have had no input and no consultation. No one really knows and the information's been very scarce on it. Uh, we had no information uh, until they were going to do it. But um, it's a bit of a hit and miss and we are all the guinea pigs that are going to see whether it works or not. It was misleading. A lot of the information given to the residents to start with was not a fair and true indication of what the plans were for the area. The drainage off the, uh, on the sides of the road are, are just inadequate. Um, we've been here just on 18 years and the drains have been done twice. These drains can't cope. It overflows over the road and right opposite here, we had a big landslide caused by uh, inadequate drains. If the drains on the road system were cleaned out regularly and maintained, um, half of the problem wouldn't exist. With the big downpours also comes, also comes a lot of drainage problems. Um, but you can see where the water's run over the end of the banks up there and um, it's eroding it just as quick as what the seawater's doing itself. So there's a definite drainage problem that needs to be looked at as well. I think the drainage is probably even more, uh, more urgent. The road drainage is more urgent at the moment than, uh, than anything else. We're getting more erosion from, uh, from the, the more frequent downpours that we get. You get 100 millimetres of rain in an hour and uh, the damage that's done is uh, irreversible. They used to do a drain along the top here at the front of our houses here, but that was, and they had sort of ducks going down to the water, but that's all to been left and never, never been um, looked after at all. And it's just deteriorated. We recently had a meeting with a representative of the DEPI and he was uh, surprised to get a lot of uh, comment from the residents here saying that the major contributing problem uh, to erosion is the poor drainage. It's not an offshore solution that's required, it's an onshore solution. I think to stop the erosion uh, we need to consider fixing up the drains in the area first. We've lost 30 to 40 metres of shoreline um, and it just keeps getting worse. There is a, an erosion problem which has largely been dealt with already by the rock wall abatement work. The rock wall has stopped it, um, but the continuing water goes to the edges and cuts in and makes more erosion at the edges. But the rock wall has stopped the erosion. Mm -hmm.